Hey guys, back with some more raids today, and yesterday was a nightmare for raids. We did three of them, only profited on the last one, which did end up being a 2x2 base, and yesterday we started with an all-armored bunker base on the side of the cliff, and I'm gonna do it again, except this one's on the side of a rock. All-armored bunker base looks like. This one's definitely got doors on it, though. But I do still have faith in profiting off of these all armored bunker style bases. So we're going to send this one for the first raid. And having really scouted this one out, let's see if we can find a cheap pathway in. Well, I mean, first of all, straight up armored door here in the center. That probably will be our best bet. But let's take a look on top. Okay, yeah, I mean... That armored door heads to this triangle. If it is sealed off, that's eight more C4. And then we're near to the rock. And can we actually see through here? Okay, I can almost see through this tiny little gap in the rock, but I just see another floor. Let's go for that front door. Guessing this is a bait door, no? Actually, door path here. Okay, this can't be that easy. Straight up doors. Won't see anything through that gap yet. Wanted to see if we could block this off in case we get countered. Okay, we got a small box and one sleeper in here. <laughs> Nothing in the box and just charcoal in those furnaces. Bags his house. So good sign. Well, baby, there's CC. Let's go. All right, at least this one wasn't as expensive as the first armored base we did yesterday. Still haven't seen any loot yet looks like a possible solo player with there only being one sleeper in here let's chuck some doors up and hope for profit here all right we've got one box and two small boxes and if that's his comps he's lacking hopefully there's gonna be stuff in this main box Really? No actual rockets in there? We got two ensign rockets. Did we check his body? Spray paint can. Okay, I guess once again it comes down to TC. Please have Sulfur and Chief be here. Yes, let's go dudes. 35k Sulfur, that's what I'm talking about. I was almost thinking that was going to be another fail. But we finally profited and it was on the first raid. Still going to have to cook that Sulfur up. Oh, we'll get that stuff prepared, craft it into C4 and rockets, and I'll see you guys at the next raid. I don't believe there's anything else in his face, at least anything else worth going for. So in the last two days of raiding, we ended up having to profit off of a two by one at the end of the video. But we've got something similar here, except he sealed this thing off no door path. Backwards sheet metal walls. So I mean, if I wanted to sit here with jackhammers, we might be able to take down a wall for free. Never mind. there's a sheet metal door over here. Missed that part. But that is good. At least it'll start off being a cheap raid. That actually goes straight into the two by two, the only spot that's not honeycombed. Okay, this is actually going to be a quick raid. Don't have a raid base set up. Should be a quickie. And a sheet metal door. Okay, we got coffins in here. Check those furnaces. And is that all the security? Oh, it's a solo player. Back to space. Let's see if we can continue the trend of these little sheet metal bases paying off big. And we'll get a TC down. I'm hoping none of these things are locked. We did see that metal in the furnaces over here. And LRs, that's actually looking pretty good for a solo 94 pipes. And this is just the first box too. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, 8C4, we profited, let's go. Still hoping for stuff in the TC. Let's see a jackpot here, dudes. Two small boxes over here as well. More tools. 
and TC's got about 10k sulfur. All right, pretty decent. So the trend continues. <laughs> These little sheet metal bases are still profit. Let's see if we can find something bigger now that we've salvaged a bit of our stuff that we lost in yesterday's video. Oh man, so I'm out here scouting for our next base and I just wish this wipe, we had done a bunch of jackpot profitable raids, we could send it on this. Now we do still have tomorrow to do some raids, so let's continue on the profit for today and maybe we can give this one a shot in tomorrow's video. But there's definitely tons of epic bases here that are probably juiced out on this server this wipe. Anyways, I'll keep looking for a base that we can actually raid today and I'll see you guys once we get there. Okay, you guys are seeing this. My dude's got two large furnaces running with a mini on top of his base. Now 99% sure this guy is online. So there's a good chance we might be failing this raid. Going to bring 18 C4 still, nine rockets. Have a GL so we can maybe get an advantage on this dude if he's defending. But we're gonna run up to his compound, ladder over that as quickly as possible. Don't wanna be exposed and we'll start the raid. Haven't scouted this dude's base out. I don't know what it looks like in there. But we're going to try our best and succeed this one online. Right when we ladder over, we'll try to listen for any action in the base, any movement to see if he's back at his base or not, or if he's roaming. All right, here we go. These zombie turrets. Okay, no turrets. Let's see what he's cooking up. Just wood? Really? Okay. This thing is armored though. And there's a pathway, garage door, we can see that on the second floor. Kind of looks like your typical solo bunker base without the roofs on the edges though. So that armored door is looking pretty attractive to go into and then blow straight down. Let's send it. No movement yet. Okay, garage door in there, but like I said, yup, there he is. No, no. Bro, the shot, the lone shotgun trap. We just lost like 16 C4. Yo, that is super depressing. We were doing so good today. Man, gotta check for shotgun trap like that next time, man. He just came on as soon as I died. Freaking rip, man. Guess we'll look for something else profitable. We'll use what we have, scavenge the C4 we have at base and see if we can get any of that back. Bruh. Okay guys, well that was quite embarrassing of an online raid. We totally rushed that and should have took it slow looking for traps and stuff. But yeah, probably going to get flamed in the comment section of this video for that. But I'm going to leave it in the video for you guys. And this next raid, I am trying to set it up so we can guarantee not to fail here. We've got three auto turrets, one covering the back. One covering the front left and one covering the front right. Now, even yesterday, we had three auto turrets set up to guard raid and we still failed because they hit my raid base and took over my turrets. Here's the base we are going to be hitting and it's another bunker style base. This one's huge though, built up on a cliff. I did notice there was a missing door over here and missing ceiling. Now this thing's missing actually tons of doors in here and it's not decaying. So there's gotta be a TC somewhere and I'm liking these hard side half walls. So I wanna send a few C4 on that to check. But other than that, man, there's pretty much no boxes in here. So if we find that TC, hoping there's gonna be sulfur in it. Pretty sure somebody came through here and raided it unless he built it like this with high IQ looking rated so that nobody will hit it. Anyways, server's going to restart. I'll be back with you guys in a second after restart. I'm going to bring some C4 and hit that hard side half floor sheet metal wall. Okay, so we're back. The server has restarted and if there's any time that I needed to catch a break on a raid, it would be right now. I think we've failed more raids this wipe than ever. So if I can just catch a break, that would be awesome. Anyways, we're going to stick with the plan here. Going for these half floors. 
Hoping that we can find the TC in this thing, which is obviously not completely rated. And taking a second look at this, it's not looking good. I think that's just heading into a rock, dude. But let's see. Why is that hard side? Well, while I was looking at this, sounds like we have a counter coming in. Mini. Hopefully he's not seeing my raid biz right now. Bro, no way. Why does that happen to me right now? There's at least four people here. Well, it sounds like the turret's got one guy. I'm honestly so ready to pack it in for today and just restart again tomorrow. So going to see if we can at least get out of here alive with the explosives. This must have been where he died. Oh, he was naked. Well, considering we have so much attention on us and we've lost so much this way, I'm going to salvage the explosives today, guys. I am so sorry for today's video that we literally failed everything, except those first two smaller base raids that we profited off of, but yeah. Luckily, the server wipes every three to four days so we can get a fresh start soon. We still have tomorrow to raid. And these guys are harassing me, so I'm going to try to get these explosives out of here and we'll do some sulfur farming for tomorrow's video. Just hopefully we can catch a break this way, dudes. If you guys want to stay up to date with my raids, make sure you guys get subbed. And I'll see you guys in another raid tomorrow. Let's see if we can at least counter these guys and kill them. Two guys down, hey. At least we can move this stuff out of here safely. LOL clan with the counter. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Please wish me luck.